Let's talk Tanya for the 11th of Elul of a leap year. In today's Tanya, we start a new chapter, chapter 13, another letter from the Alter Rebbe, also written as a fundraiser trying to raise funds for tzedakah. The Alter Rebbe begins this chapter with a verse from Tehillim, Marav Tuvcha Shetzafanta Liriyecha, How great is your goodness, which is hidden for those who fear you. And the Alter Rebbe is going to analyze this question and say, what is this goodness that we're talking about over here? What makes it hidden? And why is this hidden goodness reserved specifically for Liriyecha? For those who fear God, how about those who love God? So we will answer this question as we proceed through this chapter today. But first, Alter Rebbe tells us that generally in the Jewish nation, there are two different general categories of souls. There are souls that are chesed souls, and there are souls that are givura souls. Chesed souls are people who are extroverted. Um, they're a little wild. They're out of the box. As opposed to Gevura souls, it's the opposite. People who are calculated, introverted, uh, in the box. And that expresses itself. People who have chesed souls, their service of Hashem doesn't know any limits. Uh, they're not restricted or constrained by the exact specification of the law. They'll go above and beyond it. And also, they're not specifically interested in privacy. Whatever they do is in the public, uh, in the public sphere. Whereas Gevura people... Um, they're more calculated, again, so everything they do is, you know, tell me what I have to do, they discharge their obligation, they're not going beyond that, um, they also are people who are more private people, they're not doing things out in public, and historically, the, the, you might want to say the epitome or the embodiment of these two different types of souls was back in the day during the times of the Mishnah, we're talking about 2,000 years ago, there were two schools, there was Beishamai and Beishilo the yeshiva of Shammai and the yeshiva of Hillel. The yeshiva of Shammai was known for their gevura. Um, it was founded by Shammai, who was known as a disciplinarian, as a person who uh, was a severe person, had high expectations of others and of himself. And then there was another school, Beis Hillel, the yeshiva of Hillel, founded by Hillel, who was known for his patience and his kindness. And they argued in halachic issues many times. They had different opinions in halacha, hundreds of times probably, and there's a pattern that they followed, which is that Beis Hillel was always lenient, and Beis Shammai was pretty much always um, stringent. And this reflected that Beis Hillel was chesed, so they were looking at everything with a kind eye, and that's why they were being lenient. Beis Shammai, on the other hand, because they were gevuram, so they looked at everything from a more, with a more severe um, um, perspective, and they said, well, this, no, this is not kosher, this can't be used for a mitzvah, this is not good enough to be elevated to God. Again, that was a symptom or a result of their givura. But what's interesting is that although Beishamai was givura and therefore they had their pattern, and Beishilal was chesed and they had their pattern, but there are quite a few instances enumerated in the Mishnah where there was a halachic disagreement between the two of them, and Beishilal was strict and stringent, and Beishamai was lenient. Now, how does that work with their respective souls? Beishilal again was chesed souls, and Beishamai was givura souls. Al Trebe says, yes. That is true, but even someone with a chesed soul has gevura. Even someone with a gevura soul has chesed. We actually find this by Avram. Avram Avinu, we know, he was the epitome of kindness, but after the test of the Akedah, when he was asked to sacrifice his son, God tells him that now I know elikimata, that you are someone who fears God. And as we know, fear and reverence comes from gevura. So someone who is chesed also has gevura. However, the gevura is concealed and the chesed is revealed. Someone who has gevura, also has chesed, but the gevura is that which is revealed and the chesed is concealed. And with this, we'll understand the verse that we started the chapter with. Morav Tuvcha, David HaMelech says, How great is your goodness? Goodness is synonymous with kindness. How great is the kindness, Asher Tzafanta, which you have hidden, Li Reyecha, in those who fear you. Those people who have gevura souls, but they also have an infinite reservoir of kindness within them. The only thing is that it's hidden. And with this, Dr. Rebbe is turning to his chassidim and saying, yes, I'm asking you for charity, and I'm asking you to give a lot of money to charity. And I recognize that some of you might say, hey, but I'm a gevura person. I don't have that kindness within me. Dr. Rebbe is saying, no, you also have it. It's hidden. But if you uh, dig down deep, you will find that infinite reservoir of kindness within you also, which then you can utilize to give tzedakah, and not only the 10% that's mandated according to Allah, but even more than that. And the larger lesson that we can learn from this chapter is the idea of not being limited by what our revealed nature is, understanding that, yes, there is what our revealed nature is, but all of us have hidden latent powers, reservoirs 
untapped reservoirs of any other midar attribute that we need in order to serve God, and when necessary, we can tap into them and use them in our service of God. With that, we've concluded this letter, and tomorrow we start another chapter, chapter 14, another letter on the topic, on the topic of charity.